Hey guys, welcome back to Nightest Kid and I have been waiting to film this one. It is my all time favourite cartoon, Bucky O'Hare. Me and my mates used to love this so much in the 90s. Oh man, we had so many good times playing with the action figures, playing on the video game. Just playing a game ourselves, you know, outside, arguing over who got to be Bucky O'Hare. Um, the two mates I grew up with, they were like a year older than me. So often that they would let me get my own way because I was that bit younger, and so I got to play as Bucky. But hey, every child's dream, right? Anyway, guys, when I was searching for the attic for my old toys, I knew um, I had these ships up there, I knew the action figures were there, but they weren't in regards to the ships. Um, I searched the attic high and low, couldn't find anything, went through every box, went over my nan's into her attic, because some of my stuff was stored there, nothing, and there's hardly anything up there. And I was really good because this, ladies and gentlemen, is my favourite childhood toy the Toad Ship, the Toad Double Bubble, as a small, correctly known. And it's got that croaking sound. There you go. I've got two Toad figures in here that were gifted to me by Intercoast and somebody else, maybe, or did I buy it? Or for eBay. Anyway, look, these claws could fire. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Got the engine stickers in the back there. So, what happened? Well, couldn't find them. They must have been in a box somewhere because another big vehicle was missing as well, which I was gutted about because I loved that one. And I decided, right, I've looked for weeks, I can't find anything, I thought of every single place. And I still wasn't able to find my originals. However, eBay is a great thing. So basically, someone was putting a bundle of Bucky O'Hare figures on eBay, including these two ships. Um, also, Toad Croker. And... Um, I looked at the prices, the bids, these two in, were included, they look great. Um, I had some action figures, obviously I already had the action figures, but they were included so I thought, okay, we'll still go for it. And in the end, I won the bundle for £36. And considering they had both the ships in awesome condition, that is damn great. Because, ladies and gentlemen, not only did the ships come with some action figures and some accessories, they also come with the original box. How cool is that? Amazing. So that's the Toad Croker. I was trying to see how much they paid for it in Asda. But they've, they've scrubbed the price off. I really wanted to know if they'd be interested. And I got mine from Toys R Us originally. So to have the original um, box back is... Wow. It's awesome. It's amazing. And for this one as well. There you go. So double ball. Let's put that down a bit. Amazing artwork. I remember um, there's actually a video clip of me opening up the toad ship. It's in my 90s kid intro. Um, and I'll include it here for you to show you how excited I was receiving the toad double bubble. Open 
It'll have to be put together, Daddy will do it for you after. Dad, you'll put it together for you after. Yeah. You want the stick? I'm going to get it done. So that was one of the best Christmases. I remember leading up to it, I was asking my parents, just not, not for any other toys, just a toe drip, a toe drip, a toe drip. Every time someone asked me what I want for Christmas, a toe drip. I was on the phone to Father Christmas, I said I'd like a toe drip please. And I did get it. And when I lifted up as well, as you saw in the clip, um, you heard the croak noise it made. And that's why I made that kind of expression to the camera like... And then it was just magical. That's why when I realized that was lost. I was devastated. Now, that might sound a bit um, extreme, but I was, well not just devastated, no, but disheartened. I was like, oh what, I used to love that. Because it meant so much to me as a kid. And now I've got it back. It's not my original, but it's still pretty damn awesome. Okay, let's take a closer look here at the um, Toad Croaker. This took a while to get together. It would not clip together, but it did in the end. And of course we've got Bucky of Hair Pads in it. Say hi Bucky. Uh, so it's got this fresh thing at the bottom, so if you press it down. It's supposed to make a noise. Don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's got like um, some kind of rubber tube in it. And the ear gets pushed out at the back. So yeah, you can feel it. Anyway, it was awesome to have these back guys, but of course it's not just about the ships. I do also have the action figures, the old action figures. So, we've got Blinky. Ah, look, and something, his jetpack, has broken off in his back. Uh, so that's stuck in there. I think I've tried to get out for years. I can never do it. So I find excess, I'll try and get that out. And uh... Anyway, Android First Class. Our Blink. On the Blink. I think there's an episode called On the Blink. That's the sad thing about the series, it only lasted for like 13 episodes, one se series. You had like, you know, a bunch of mammals fighting against amphibians in space. It was absolutely awesome, such a unique idea in cartoon in my opinion. And I think it's got potential to be brought back. There's been loads of rumours about, about, about it being brought back, I just hope it happens. And I hope it's good. Okay, so we also had a toad. So I've got three toad troopers. This is my original one, I know, because there's a big crack in his chest. Not sure if you can see that right there. So obviously he had way too much of Bruce, probably from this guy, Bruiser, the Beetlejuice and Berserker Baboon. This guy was oh, kick-ass, look at him. He would destroy everything. And stuff like that. Man, it's amazing still holding these figures, my original figures now today in 2018. I was playing them in like 92, 93, 94, something like that. Uh, Commander Dogstar, he led a separate crew for um, the, Veder the Federation. So you had Bucky and his crew, and then you had Dogstars. I just thought someone was broken in him as well, but it's not. Um, moving on then. Toad Air Marshal with his original gun. Now, something interesting about this. Um, I bought something Bucky here related on eBay a couple of years ago, and this was included with it. Uh, not this one, but a new one, still in this packaging, and his gun's actually black in that one, so... Is this supposed to be green? Is this supposed to be black? Who knows? There you go. Was it from a different country, maybe? Maybe that would explain it. Toad A. Marshall, and there's a story behind this action figure we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, the Earth Boy, Willie DeWitt, who discovers the Anniverse. I think he makes a photon accelerator, so does Bucky and his crew. They press at the same time, then really gets uh, transported over into the universe. So you've got Willie DeWitt. Um, Al Negator, he's a lover's guy. The, the Sleeves of Saw, I think he was called. He was always looking for ways to make money and gambling and all this stuff. So there you go. Bit of Al Negator, lovely. Maybe not love, but you know. Um, Okay, it's called a dead-eye duck. 
Then I ducked with forearms, former space pirate and chief gunner of the Righteous Indignation. That was one of the ships that was not um, created for the toy line, unfortunately, because that would have been freaking awesome. And if they had a toad mothership as well, man. So you got, got Dead Eye there. And last but certainly not least is the Ferocious Toad Borg. This is such a kick ass villain. Loved him. Yeah. I think his legs have melted a bit over the years, but not too bad condition. Toad Borg is a kick ass. Half toad, half robot. Now, the toy line was cancelled. There are actually more toys planned. Um, but, for some reason, something happened. Too many air, mar air marshal figures were produced. And then, because they didn't sell well, because everyone wanted Bucky O'Hare, uh, didn't make the money, and they had to cancel the toy line, which is a shame because Jenny was planned. You had another version of Bucky. There was more of um, Dog Star's crew coming out and there was a if you go online and you just google it you can see um prototypes as well for like the righteous indignation they were going to make it but it wasn't going to be like a full-blown ship it's going to make some kind of tower with this like the cockpit at the top still would have been pretty cool but it didn't happen so something did happen a company called boss fight studio brought back bucky here and they've started releasing their own action figures so, this is the new Bucky O'Hare. I know this is not 90s, but I simply had to feature these people. So we've got new Bucky. Let's bring it back a bit so you can see. And the one I'm most excited about, they finally released Jenny. How cool. So even though we never got to her back in the 90s, after all these years we got our own Jenny figure. So Jenny... She is pretty cool as well. Doesn't want to stand up there. And the latest one I've got is Dead Eye Duck. Oh, and Jenny's gone. So yeah, all pretty cool there. So you can see the difference here between <laughs> old character and new. Which one's your favourite? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, you can see how more chunky the figures were back in the 90s and of course we can't uh, compare Jane to anything unless I put up an old photo if I can find it but yeah way cool very cool okay that isn't it though I've got some more merchandise okay so on eBay a while ago I found this a handheld electronic Bucky O'Hare game it's basically a bit like you remember like the old Sonic Games, handheld games where you go across the screen, you fight enemies. It's basically that. I don't know if you can see the picture at the top there. But yeah, you got like a button to move up and down to fire, jump across kind of thing. Um, I'll have to do a review on this actually. I, I didn't even know that existed, so that was a nice find. I was like, whoa, more Bucky O'Hare. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, the Bucky O'Hare Nintendo game. This is an awesome game. I'm not just saying that because I love Buggy Away. It really is a great game. If you haven't played it, go play it. Man, it's got my name and the old price on it, $24.99. Now, this is that rare that it goes for quite a bit of money, up to £100, I think, depending on what you've got. Got mine complete. Would I sell it? Hell no. Sorry. Unless I guess we need the money, maybe. Uh, this is the old manual as well. I want to show you guys this because I have got... The codes are written down for the passwords. Oh dear me, look at that. Uh, that's what I used to do in the old days. I'd write down um, passwords in the books, instead of paper. When you needed passwords and cheats back in those days, like, there you go. There was like no saves. You just had to enter the password to continue on to your journey. I guess the password was a save, in fairness. Uh, put it by for now. Okay, so what else have we got? Of course, we've got the DVD. Not released in the 90s, but released sometime in the 2000s. Um, I think this is out of print now, but it's got the entire series on. Uh, you can still find it on eBay. It might be a bit pricey or Amazon. Um, like I said, I really wanted to bring it back. I love it. And the cartoon intro, guys. Why have I not mentioned that? Um, it's absolutely awesome. It's so catchy. 
Um, I think I'm the only YouTuber to have a HD intro of it uploaded on my channel, so uh, go and spread that out a bit. There you go. And also on these, if you put the disc into the computer, they've got the original episode scripts on there. So that is phenomenal if you're a fan. I hope you're a fan if you're watching us. Um, this is another recent addition actually to my collection. It is Buck Your Hair Toad Menace. It's, it's like a. I can't speak now, I'm getting too excited. Buck Your Hair and Toad Menace. It's like a manga collection of all the comics. I think it's, this collects the first five US comics and then I think a couple of other stories. But like inside, it's all black and white. Good stuff. Great stuff though. And then, we've got something else from my childhood. I forgot to show this in my um, childhood books the other day. This is not my original because this was also lost, but it is the official SPACE Book Your Hair Handbook. This has got information on the show, the characters, um, like the kick-ass toad bog there, and Willie in his bedroom. And it's also got information about there we go, that's, that's how I look at Jenny. There you go. Classic character. I've actually drawn Bucky O'Hare and Jenny recently. I've been getting into art, or trying to. I'm on DeviantArt Metropolis 86 if you want to go check it out. Um, yeah, I've done some Bucky O'Hare fan art. I'm, I want to do fan art of all my favorite uh, childhood favorites. So, right, this is quite interesting. If I can just pull it out. There we go, lovely. This is a Bucky O'Hare sticker fun book. Oh, look at that on the back. Cut that out. I won't be cutting it out. I've done enough cutting of Bucky here in the past, which uh, we'll talk about in a minute. So it's got all these stickers you can cut out, and it says you can moisten them. Press out stickers, moisten, and place them on the pages where they belong. So it's basically an incomplete uh, book. So you've got Bucky and Jenny right here, and you would take the stickers out and put them in the desired place. But I don't want to do it because I don't want to ruin this book. Do I? This is actually good references for fan art, why don't I? Look at this. Got more stickers there. Got Bucky's glove, Jenny's face, and so on. A bit sticky actually, I it. Yeah, amazing stuff. Amazing. So that I'm that was another good find because I didn't know that existed. Um, oh, now the pinnacle. In this bag is all the original 20 issues of the UK Bucky O'Hare comic. And these are quite big. So this is my issue one. Um, the story behind this, I used to collect these every week. And then when I got a bit older, um, because I love Bucky O'Hare so much, I decided to cut um, the characters out and stick them on my bedroom wall. And of course the comics were ruined. So then, last year, I think it was, I went on a quest to find a complete Bucky O'Hare collection on eBay. They don't come up very often, but I was extremely lucky. It only took me a few months to, for someone to put a bundle on there, a couple of people. And eventually, I got my full collection. And I always show people in some videos this picture. This was the picture used to go on my birthday cake when I was young. I've got a clip of that somewhere as well. If I can find it, I will show you guys. <laughs> Off in here in a minute. Is she in? Yeah. Hey. 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 Did you have it? Did you do it in Did you do it or did you have it done? I had it made by um, the used to be a shop in the same street as Woolworth in Cafilly and they closed the shop down because of the high. Yeah. But I've got all of them, all 20, all safely tucked away in this plastic bag. Here we go. And the very last issue featured a guy called Pitstop Pete. He was part of Commander Dogstar's crew. And there was going to be another comic, but then uh, Phoenix Continuity UK, apologise if I've got that wrong, went bust. So we didn't get any more than 20 comics. Which is surprising because the United States only got five comics released, but we had a lot more over here. Yay for living in the UK. 
Okay, guys, that has been uh, a 90s kid Bucky O'Hare. Sorry if that was so long, but that is how much I love the, the Bucky O'Hare franchise, the cartoon, the figures, the TV series, the video games. There's also an arcade game as well, which we've played in the Tubers High School Challenge in the very early stage of the Tubers High School Challenge, actually. I think it's like the fifth or sixth game I've played. Awesome. I didn't win. I come second. That will change that. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you had any of the comics, the toys. Did you enjoy the show? Do you not like the show? If you did not like the show, leave my channel right now. <laughs> but seriously, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.